broke into fragments. <laughs> Boom, he dropped it. Fragments. Inevitable. Inevitable. What does it mean? The, the situation means that this is inevitable. Something that can't be stopped or is unavoidable. Right. They have increased the number of motorcycles in this. They have allowed the number of motorcycles in the city to increase from 2,000 to 10,000. An accident will be inevitable. With 10,000 motorcycles instead of 2,000 motorcycles, somewhere somebody's going to crash. An accident is inevitable. It will happen. No matter what, it will happen. It can't be avoided. Inevitable. The situation is such that something is going to go wrong. The accident is inevitable. Unavoidable. Unavoidable. In other words, all the facts of the situation lead up to the, situ to the result that has to be. It is unavoidable. It will happen. It is inevitable. Conclude. Summary. Finish. Right. Conclude. The, the police investigated the murder case. They investigated all the scene of the crime. They interviewed all the witnesses and they reached a final conclusion. They concluded that the man on the third floor committed the murder. The police concluded from all the facts all gathered together and they studied them, interviewed everybody, and finally, in the end, they reached a conclusion. A conclusion. They concluded. Summary? Summary? Summary, are you saying? Summing, summing it up? No, it's, 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 uh, not exactly. Summary. Not exactly a summary. A conclusion is a result of investigating and looking at all the facts. All the facts. And then you reach a conclusion. A conclusion is the end, the result of everything, of all your investigation, of all your study. You've concluded that this is the re end result. A summary is a little bit different. A summary is a, a, a brief statement of all the facts. A summary, I will give you a summary of our investigation. I, our investigation involves 200 pages of interviews and investigation. <coughs> But I'm not going to read the 200 pages. I'm going to give you a summary, short results of everything. Instead of handing you 200 pages, I will give you a one page summary. S-U-M-M-A-R-Y. The summary would contain the main points it would not be the 200 pages of the report, no. It would be one or two pages of the main points of the investigation. I will give you a summary of all that happened. A summary. The investigation is complete. We, we've studied the murder scene, interviewed everybody. The report that the police wrote is 200 pages. But here is a summary of everything that happened.
a summary. And the conclusion and the summary are two different things, really. Dislocate, out of place. Out of place. Malfunction, not working properly. A fragment, a piece of a broken thing. A cup dropped on the floor. Uh, a statue falls and breaks into a thousand pieces into various fragments. Inevitable, can't be avoided. The situation is such that it can't be avoided. There are so many factors involved and they've all come together, it's inevitable. And we have reached a conclusion. The man on the third floor is responsible for the murder. That is the police conclusion. They have concluded that he is responsible. And I will give you a summary of our investigation, a brief statement, a summary. I could give you the whole 200 pages, or I can give you a one-page summary, the full, all you need to know. Any questions about those words? Uh, summary is like a, a brief and a chance to an idea. Right, it, it's, it's, it's to eliminate a lot of the detail, but give you the main results. The main results of, let's say, the investigation. The main results, but out giving you every detail, every word. But, uh, I don't know about it, but uh, the conclusion is, is about, you have to, to try to get an issue from the result or not, the conclusion. To conclude is to reach a final decision about something. From all that you've learned, you conclude if, uh, what? If somebody commit a criminal, commit crime, uh, they should use conclusion of something. Well, you've reached the conclusion. The man on the third floor is the police conclusion. They, they've investigated everything, interviewed 25 witnesses, people that said they saw something. All 25 interviewed. They've examined all the evidence on the floor, the desk, the fingerprints on the doorknob, everything has been investigated. And they reached a conclusion. Now the summary, would not be everything that everybody said, 25 people, every word, no. In the 200 page report, yes. But in the summary, we interviewed 25 witnesses. 18 of them have something positive to say about the investigation. There were seven people that we've interviewed that know nothing. 18 people think that it's the guy on the third floor. Our investigation found his fingerprints on the doorknob, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, just one page. Whereas if you took the, the whole 200 pages, you'd be reading it all day and night. But the summary tells you what you need to know and how they reached the conclusion. And in the end of the summary would be the conclusion, it appears that the subject of the case is the man who lives on the third floor. We've reached this conclusion from this. It was inevitable. The woman was murdered by the man on the third floor. He had been causing her all kinds of problems for months. The fact that he killed her was probably inevitable. Right. That was it. <laughs> Don't forget inevitable. <laughs> That's exactly right. Any other questions about those words?
Well, it would be like at the end of the class, I could say, I will conclude the class. I will conclude the class and finish with a summary of everything that we talked about. Now, that doesn't mean that when I would speak for the next two hours about what we talked about for the last two hours. No, the summary would be a short uh, you know, listing of the things that we discussed. Remember, we discussed the words of dislocate and this and the more, and you know, things like that. And it would be a short version, a short version of the two hours. So if I say, I will conclude the class, we have two minutes to go, uh, with a short summary of everything we talked about. That doesn't mean we will now sit here for the next two hours while I redo the class. No, it means that for the next minute or two, I will discuss what we talked about. The main points. The main points. The main issues that we mentioned in the class. Not, the summary would not be the whole two hours over again, but one minute discussing briefly boop, 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 what we discussed in the two hours of the class. Summary. And you can even have a brief summary, a very short summary. Depends on the speaker and how long he has to speak. Oh.